हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर राहुल शर्मा एंड लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट क्रोस्कल वॉलेस एच टेस्ट दिस टेस्ट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज वन वे अनोवा ऑन रैंक्स बिकॉज दिस इज द नॉन पैरामीट्रिक इक्वलेंट ऑफ वन वे अनोवा सी इट इज अ रैंक बेस्ड नॉन पैरामीट्रिक टेस्ट दैट कैन बी यूज टू डिटरमाइन इफ देयर आर एनी स्टेटिस्टिकली सिग्निफिकेंटेड डिफरेंसेज बिटवीन थ्री और मोर ग्रुप्स ऑफ एन इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल द की टर्म ओवर हेयर इज इंडिपेंडेंट देयर आर इन टोटल थ्री एजम्पन्स टू अप्लाई दिस टेस्ट फर्स्ट इज द डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल शुड बी मेजर्ड एट ऑर्डिनल और कंटिन्यूस लेवल मीन्स योर डेटा शुड बी इधर मेजर्ड एट इंटरवल स्केल और रेशो स्केल योर इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल शुड कंसिस्ट ऑफ थ्री और मोर कैटागोरिकल independent groups that is the observations in one group have nothing to do with the uh, with the observations of the second group third group and so on there is independence uh, uh, of data when it comes to observations and we need to have independence of observations which means that there is no relationship between the observations in each group as already detailed to you so let us try out this example the medical there is a medical researcher who would like to investigate the effectiveness of three new back pain drugs that is drug a drug b and drug c the researcher has recruited a group of 30 individuals with a similar back pain score and and has randomly assigned 10 to three groups now 30 have been selected and 10 of the uh, participants have randomly have, have been put into one of the groups that is 10 people who would be given drug a 10 people who would be given drug b and so on 10 who would be given drug c now for uh, for four weeks the relevant drugs have been administered to these uh, individuals respectively at the end of four week period the researcher asked the participants to rate their back pain on a scale of 1 to 10 where 1 means low level of pain and 10 means high level of pain The researcher wants to compare the level of pain experienced by different groups as at the end of drug treatment period. Now let us understand the problem in detail. Dependent variable in this case is pain score. And independent variable is uh, over here are the three groups of drugs. The D1, D2, D3 or drug A1, drug A2, drug A3. And every group comprises of 10 participants. so if we have to frame the hypothesis in this case the null hypothesis would be that there is no difference in the effectiveness of three drugs and alternate would be that there is a difference in the effectiveness of these drugs so let us apply uh, this test in spss and see how the results are interpreted in spss i have defined two variables over here one variable is drug type and the other one is pain score in drug type there are three type of drugs drug 1 drug 2 drug, drug 3 so i have defined three type of values over here one is drug 1 two is drug 2 and three is d3 or drug drug 3 once i have defined these values i have put some dummy data over here now i am assuming that data is not following normal distribution so in this case i cannot apply one way anova so what i would be going for i would be going for kruskal wallis h test in order to apply kruskal wallis h test i would move to the menu of analyze and to non parametric tests under non parametric tests i'll go to legacy dialogs and in this case in this case our sample is independent means the three groups in our case are independent of each other now i cannot apply two independent sam uh, sample test because we have three samples over here so i would be going for k independent samples k independent sample means any number of samples more than two we would be applying this test over here if data is not following normal distribution so i'll select this the test for several independent samples would appear over here by default you will find kruskal wallis h test is selected my drug type is the grouping variable with three groups of drugs in it and pain score is my test variable 
now in case of grouping variable you would find there are question marks appearing over here because i need to define the range so i'll click on define range and in our case the minimum is one and the maximum value that i've assigned is three it means the number of groups you are having so it is one two three and i'll click on continue simply just click on ok after this in the output you would be getting two tables one is the ranks other is test statistics so let us understand these in detail the test statistics table over here is showing us the p value of 0, 0.000 which simply means that if p is low h not must go p is less than 0 0.05 means null hypothesis is rejected there is a difference in the pain, uh, in the pain score across the groups which have been administered these three types of drugs in case of d1 the mean rank is 14.8 d2 it is 25.2 and d3 the mean rank of pain is 6.5 so how we would uh, show the results or we would depict the results we would say a Kruskal Wallace H test showed that there was a statistically significant difference in the pain score between the different drug treatments with p value equal to 0 0.000 and the mean rank of pain score of 14.8 was there for drug A, 25.2 for drug B and 6.5 for drug C. Means drug C was most effective out of all because lower the number means low the pain. So I hope you are able to understand this demonstration and you would find it easy to apply it of your own. Thank you so much.